Hey there YouTubers, alright, so in this part of the video I'm going to take a, what's kind of a standard case and show you where all the connectors go on the motherboard as well as this power supply taking its the connectors that we need for this one. I um, wasn't really going to talk too much about installing graphics cards, but uh, maybe we'll drop one in there at some point. Alright folks, so... Uh, you know, in the other video, you saw how to do the power for the BIOS update, but let's just cover that again. So from your power supply, you need this 24-pin power connector. And this can go on only one way, all right? And let me just hopefully not knock the power supply off the counter. So that's going to go in there. Basically we drop it in and that snaps in. Okay, so you're going to end up doing this inside your case. A little easier outside of the case. Now for the CPU power connector See if I can rotate this around. And I think at the end of this, I'll probably unplug the connectors on the power supply. We'll see though. All right. So, CPU power connectors. And we should have two of those on here. And that is going to drop in right here. Now, of course, in your case, as you're doing this in your case, folks, this is going to come up and under the motherboard, okay? So it's not going to look like the way I'm doing this. So we get these in here, hopefully. I don't know if I need my glasses, but I am... Having a harder time than I should with this. These also go in only one way. And if you're having this much trouble, then you're doing something wrong. <laughs> Now, it shouldn't take that long to do. All right, so the next one, if there is a next one on here, I have to figure out which one of these goes here. I think it's this one. One of these will fit, one won't. Okay, so that's your CP power connector, okay? So I'm going to disconnect these, then we'll do the case connectors. All right, so let's just uh, give you an example of installing an M.2 before we move on to the case. Now, ideally, I would have put this one in here uh, with the CPU cooler on here. It's going to be tough to get to that screw, so we'll demonstrate it in this position right here. And the best thing to do for this, folks, is to have a magnetic tip screwdriver. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have one. So we're going to struggle with this little electronics one. Yep, we got it in there. So, M.2. Now, all of these have a heat sink on them, and they're all Gen 4. Uh, ideally, this is, you know, really supposed to be the position for the operating system. But, it'll work in any one of them. Alright. Now, let's talk uh, case connectors. So, all this stuff, folks, if you had a motherboard in here, all these things would be routed... Um, on the other side of this 
So if we took this panel off, they would be basically up against this panel in a little cavity. Uh, and then you would run it under the motherboard and connect it in position. But like I said, we are not going to do that. It's hard to film, to be honest with you. All right, so if you have USB 3.2 on your computer, see that blue one, or 3.2, you'll have one of these connectors, okay? So this guy goes right in here on this motherboard, and it can go in only one way. So there's a uh, cutout here, and this is going to fit in that spot, all right? So you would drop that in and hopefully not bust any pins in the process, okay? All right. So I'm going to take that off for now because it's just going to get in the way. And let's look at USB 2.0. So if you have USB 2.0 on your case, which we do right here, you will have, just gotta make sure I grab the right one, this guy here says USB right there, okay? You'll notice one pin missing, or one pill one hole filled, I should say. And these are your USB 2.0 connectors or headers. And you'll see that the pin is missing from here. So when we put this in, make sure you put it in so that one lines up. So that's how you do USB 2.0. Now your case fan Sometimes you have three and four pin. These are some case fan headers here. And you would just drop in, I'm trying to make sure it doesn't say pump or anything. You just drop that in like that, all right? Easy day so far. Now, HD audio is this one right here, okay? And that's the other one that it looks kind of like the USB one, but it says HD audio on it. It's also missing, or got a, a hole filled there. And so you have to make sure when you install this. So it's that first row, second pin over. So I have to rotate this around and put that in there, okay? Now uh, is actually the tough, tough spot to do, especially when you are uh, inside of your case. It's going to be much easier to show you this outside of the case. Let me get these out of the way. So what we're looking at here, folks, are the rest of the front panel connectors. All right. And let's drop down on the main camera so you can hopefully see, and hopefully I can see. Now, if I forget to edit this, folks, I apologize. Okay, so we can see over here, first two pins are power LED slide that back a bit then third and fourth are power switch and then the bottom row HD and then the reset switch okay so some of these are easier to do than others folks and if you need glasses this is a good time to get your glasses out so you notice we're going to do the power LED first. That one is uh, basically a split cable. 
Whoop, that's not it. Here we go. Okay. And you want to make sure on this one you see the positive and negative symbol that you line this up properly as you install it, okay? So we're coming in and boom, okay? I had to move. I had to slide that a little bit because there's a little bit of tension on it. It's not really designed to be um, installed this way outside the case. <laughs> All right, so in front of that we have the HDD. All right. And we're going to drop that in and hopefully not knock the camera over. Just like that, okay? Now, out of these four that we're doing, folks, the only one that really matters that you hook up is the actual power switch, all right? And that's going to turn this thing on and off. And there's the power switch, okay? Kind of amazed how much better this camera. This is the Samsung S21. I'm amazed how much better the picture quality is. The screen's not as big as my uh, Motorola phone, but... And then the reset switch is the final one, okay? And voila. So that is, uh, once you get that going, and to be honest with you, just to test this out, you know, I, I would do the power switch first. Make sure it turns on and off, and then um, hit all the other connectors. But from here, folks, you're uh, you're good to go. All right. Plug in your uh, mouse, keyboard. Plug in the uh, power supply to the wall, and you should be ready to rock and roll. Now I did the uh, I put the M.2 in here. It doesn't have on the other part of the video, we showed everything you need to get boot to BIOS. Uh, this is that point where you've got everything good to go. Let's say you may have you may have a uh, already operating system installed on this drive, and you're you're uh, reusing it from another computer, or you put it in here and you're going to use a thumb drive and install. Uh, Windows 10 or 11 on it. So, thanks for checking out the video, folks. I hope you got something out of this. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.